game between Tuscarora Westfield versus Dominion Potomac Falls. Hello and welcome sports fans to the Ashburn Ice House, home of your Westfield Tuscarora Dogs. I'm John Baranowski, with me is Philip Prevost. We are in the provisional championship game between the Westfield Ice Dogs and Tuscarora Huskies against the Dominion Titans and Potomac Falls Panthers. At the beginning of this season, there were enough teams that were wearing, uh, that were combining two schools. Once you combine schools according to the NVSHL, you cannot uh, advance to the playoffs. They don't want any super teams. Well, thanks mostly to Coach Bucky, there is a provisional championship game between those teams uh, that have to combine. And so the two best combined teams involve your Ice Dogs. Tonight we go against what looks like various eras of the Los Angeles Kings, the Dominion Titans in black and silver, the Potomac Falls Panthers in black and purple, all of them wearing the white sweaters. In the dark sweaters with black and blue, black sweaters, your Westfield Ice Dogs, blue sweaters, the Tuscarora Huskies. We got a good one tonight. Phil, what are your thoughts on tonight's game? It should be an interesting matchup. Uh, both teams are you know, pretty close. You're know, looking at goals against and goals for. Um, your, ice, your dogs, 61 goals for, 58 goals against, and then Dominion Potomac, 63 goals for and 48 goals against. So uh, Dominion Potomac, they're a little bit more uh, stronger on the defensive side, not giving up as much pucks. Um, but both teams are pretty close. Um, they really don't play the same amount of teams. Each team, you know, they don't really don't share any uh, competitors. Um, but I was just looking at the stats here, you know, for Westfield Tuscarora to make it into this game, they won last uh, three of four. So um, they were at the starting of the season two and six, if I remember correctly, if I can read this right. Um, and, you know, thinking of playoffs, you know, granted it is one game, a championship game, but still a championship game at nonetheless. And they had to win those last three and four, and they got a little help in the, uh, the last one where, um, I can't think of the name now, for the Castle Run? Kettle Run and Kettle Liberty. Run, yeah, Kettle Run and Star Wars. You, you, you nerd. <laughs> um, yeah, I am, I am a nerd. I'm proud of it. Um, and so they need a little help there, and they did. So that was two weeks ago, and here we are now. Seeing all 48 of those goals against Derek Osterberg, but uh, don't mean that that's, that's any sort of detriment. He is one of six goaltenders in the NVSHL who's played all 450 minutes of the season, all 10 games for his team. Uh, that's saying something. It is. Um, and again, stats can always be set up to be a little bit misleading. Um, I don't see another Tendi actually on their roster, to be honest. No. So um, just by the process of elimination, yes, you're going to have them. That just means they didn't pull them at any point. Um, but then again, with stats, they might not count that because you know we are just at high school level here. Right. Um, and you know, hockey is an expensive sport. And what do you think the, the most expensive position is? Goalie. So you might not have a you know a plethora of goalies to work with, but impressive, impressive stats. 4.8 goals against, not bad, not too shabby, um, for playing 10 games, and um, you know they've been in some really close games. On the other side, we do have a plethora of goalies, four of them <laughs> for this combined teams. In net tonight will be Brandon Dolan, Daniel Z Zakula will be the backup. Dolan, uh, the junior, has a five goals against average, ten goals against on the season. Uh, not too many games to try and, and even those numbers out. Uh, you got ten get you got ten games on the season. You got four goalies. You uh, <laughs> you got to find ways to try and get everybody in. Right, and Daniel Zakula, he's he's the freshman on the team. So um, you know sometimes the underclassmen don't get as much ice time, but you you got to develop them somehow. Oh yeah, and. Um, Hopefully for both programs, I mean, it's been a, a great year with the combined team, but hopefully both programs next year get more players and so they can have a full team and have a chance at actual playoff hockey. Well, we're not used to doing this at this level, but we got the national anthem. 
between the Union and Pacoma Falls and Tushwara Westfield. At this time, I'll introduce the starting lineups from Tushwara Westfield. At that point, number 41, Raj Platz. At center, number 15, Jason Horner. At right wing, number 91, Matt Dagash. At defense, number 81, Raymond Booth. At defense, number 19, Carl Buer. And at goal, number 33, Glenn Dolan. Now, for the living in Patron Falls. At center, number four, Beckman Martin. Number 94, right winger, Tyler Isles. At left wing, number 16, Jake Dumas. On the fence, number six, Ken Dubai. On the fence, number nine, Nathan Dubai. And in goal, number 99, Derek Osterberg. The full team is finished line up on their second blue lights in the national anthem. Play some hockey. I uh, I could tell. It sounds like someone was singing along there. I just I, I think uh, that's the recording they uh, had. It just just kind of. I, I have plenty of record. Uh, fortunately, my phone's being used. I do have plenty of recordings of the Star Spangled Banner. Well, but, we're not the home team. So. Um, just a side note here. So usually, what we're used to is a two ref system. One, both guys kind of as a linesman's or referees here tonight. We have the two linesmen and two ref system, which is usually used in college and at the NHL level. So I guess championship game, you go all out. And as you pointed, uh, it still says 18 minutes up on the clock. We're used to a, uh, what, 15 minute period. I wonder if they'll change that or if that's what both teams agreed on. I hope it's not something different like two halves. Certainly have not been informed if that's the case. Those of you listening at home, if you know, uh, send us a comment, a tweet, let us know. But it uh, looks like we're getting ready to start here, and it does say 18 minutes, so I'm not sure. Well, if none of the players are going to protest, none of the refs are going to protest, I'm not going to be the one to do it. Nope. It looks like uh, in the face-off here to start the game is... Uh, Number four, Declan Martin for Dominion slash Potomac. And <laughs> I don't have a 15, so. There is no 15 on the roster. Uh, you kidding me, guys? Well, his bucket says uh, 13, so. It, it, yeah, Jason Horner's been going through a plethora of sweaters. That's our word of the day, isn't it? Plethora. Plethora. A plethora, El Wapo. A plethora. Uh, I'm going to assume that's Jason Horner. Adjust your rosters accordingly. 
Face off one by the Dogs, pushed ahead by Guydash. Into the far side corner, it's taken right back in, then turned over once again. Guydash centers it into the slot, it's stopped off on the far side, bouncing puck, sails wide. Back to the near side boards it goes. DeBry going after that in the near side corner. Horner not going to get a handle on it. It's back up along the near side now. Martin. Martin into the near side boards. <laughs> Bouncing puck round to the far side. Round the Hornet goes. Slapping at it. A couple of dark sweaters. But just turnovers galore at this point. I think the, uh, the butterflies are very active in those stomachs at the moment. We'll see if they can settle them down. Puck cleared the length of the ice. DeBry going to touch up in his own zone. Not going to be an icing call. Back round to the near side to the other DeBry. There's both Kenneth and Nathan. Kenneth wearing the six sweater. Nathan in the nine. Far side it goes for Frank Ellingwood. Centering pass. Scooped up there by Matt Mueller. Mueller through the neutral zone. Sends it to the far side corner. Dumping that one in. Dugan going after. Not going to get a handle on it, but it's stopped off. By, is that Tanner Leventry? I do believe so. At the blue line. Turned over by the Docks. Taken right back by Joe Cyrillic. Cyrillic dumps it in. Around behind the net it goes. Still with Cyrillic. He puts the drop pass back. Ray Ellingwood going to pick it up from there. Far side it goes. Miller going to send that one up and out of the zone. Ahead for Sabalski. Takes the quick shot. Save made. And I think Osterberg was questioning if that got through. 16-20 left here in the first. No score. No, but shots are 2-0 in favor for the Ice Dogs. Um, or your dogs. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get used to that and then... And the season's over. And then we're going to have someone else next year. Yeah, that's the real question is, you know, last year we were with John Champ High School. Will we maintain this relationship? Because these two teams have worked really well together. Sent to the near side, it goes for Dugan. Pushed ahead, kept in there by Miller. Potomac Falls working that puck up and out. Kenneth DeBry sends it in. Going after that is Carl Huber. We'll have it on the far side corner, trying to get away from Noel Lasker. Ahead to Dugan. Dugan to Sabalski. Sabalski dumps it on in, goes after that puck. Back behind the net. Picked up there by a pair of DeBrys. Pushed ahead. Not going to get through it. It's okay. DeMoss caught one of the ice goblins on that one. That took him down. Far side from the blue line. Dumped in now by the Dogs. Josh Jung put it in. Sent ahead. Taken away by Martin. Declan Martin. Round the horn to the far side. From the point, takes the shot. It's tipped, tipped wide, though I think Dolan had a handle on it. Back to the near side, trying to work that in front of the net, trying to work Dolan back and forth. He stands tall in between the pipes. Brown back to that far side corner. Martin again. Martin centers it right into the slot. It sits there, slapped away. Uh, who was that? That was Huber who made the great defensive play in the slot. Long toss ahead for Horner. Horner. He can't get the shot through. Cyrillic, good defensive play there. Far side boards. Host of white sweaters will send it ahead. No one to pick it up. Booth into the zone first, ahead of Isles. Round behind the net it goes. Jason Horner. Long toss ahead, too far for Dugan. It's going to be back the other way. Picked up by Aiden Pepper. Pepper sent it in. They're going to call that one an icing. It was beyond the red line. A little slow on getting that. 14.06 left here in the first. No score. Here we are. The provisional championship. Between the combined teams. <coughs> trying to get that ship that boat, that caravel, that yacht, that schooner, who's going to come out with it? That's the question. Out through center it goes. Mueller all the way back at his own blue line. We'll dish it ahead to the near side for Andrew Sabalski. <coughs> Andrew, the junior, he shoots, he scores! 
Andrew Sabolski will open this one up. First goal of the game. He just swept in front on that one, made the right little move at the last second, and that was enough to get it by Osterberg. Yeah, and Tuscaroras and the Ice Dogs, Westfield's hard work has paid off. Right now, shots, it should be three to nothing right now in terms of shots. But, you know, they've controlled the, the play most of the time in the offensive zone. And when the Dominion Potomac team comes down, they're pretty quick about defensively getting it out of the zone. Another couple quick shots. Westfield, first goal, scored by number 43, Andrew Zalowski. Assist to number 74, Jack Dugan. Sabalski from Dugan. Sabalski from Dugan on that one. That is Sabalski's ninth goal of the season. Quick shot, save made by Osterberg. It's so nice to have a PA announcer. Isn't it? Such a game changer. Cyrillic trying to keep Dugan off the puck. Far side it goes for, I think that's Colby Smith. Booth. Sends one on, save made, covered up there by Osterberg. You mentioned earlier about how we were talking about if Tuscora and Westfield would stay together for next year if they need be. And, uh, you know, over the last several games, that, that stretch when they went three and for four, you really saw the chemistry start building. In the first couple games, it was rough. And a lot of times these players haven't played with each other, so, you know, that passing never really works out sometimes. And it built, and it's paid off so far. I know the numbers don't look favorable for an independent Westfield team. I don't know Tuscarora's situation. So you never know. And uh, it's a lot of when, when do you make that final decision and who's open to it. And a quick shot sails wide. Rebounds coming in front. Going to be washed out on that. No goals. Up and out of the zone now. Ahead for Vots. Back to that near side. Vots looking to line up his man. Called off the dogs in the last second, but he will keep that puck in. Guy Dash chasing it down back behind the net. Back to the near side. Martin, Declan Martin will finally put it ahead for Isles. It's too far for a stick, and they're going to call that one an icing. That uh, seems a bit much, but okay. 12 12 left here in the first. 1 nothing dogs. Face off back in uh, Titan Panther territory. Titan, Panther, Panther, Titans. Tithers? Panthans? Pa Panthans? Pantaloons? What? Pantalones? Over to the far side it goes. Ray Ellingwood carrying the, the mail on that one. He has his pocket picked by Dugan. Dugan then gets knocked down, but Jung will push that puck ahead. Advances to Andrew Sabalski, who has the lone goal so far. Back to Booth. Booth tees it up just a bit wide near side. Far side. Huber will keep it in. He puts it down low for Dugan. Trying to return it. Nothing doing. Man in the way. It's back the other way now for Colby Smith. Smith on the far side. Dangles his way around one defender. Puck comes loose. Back behind the net. To the near side. Booth stops that play. The captain now to the near side. Raymond Booth. The senior at Westfield. Looks. Dangles. Swings round to that far side, trying to find an open man. Can't seem to get it. It's picked off the side of the cage and back the other way for the White Sweaters. Far side trying to make that connection here in a wide open man. Uh, I do believe that was Aiden Pepper. No, I'm going to go with Smith. Uh, back the other way now, Guydash with it. He battles Martin into the boards. They both go down hard. That looked like that was uh, equal on that one, but you got to be careful on some of those slides. Right in front of the net, it's just battling. It's a rugby scrum in front. Penalty. We got a delayed penalty call coming. But against whom, Phil? Against I, whom? Uh, I'm guessing Tuscore or Westfield. Maybe not. No, they're escorting Potomac Falls. That's number nine, Nathan DeBry. I keep thinking like the DeBry Institute, like DeBry. De not DeVry, DeBry. I know, but just. So he'll set for two. He'll have to think about what he did. You know, you feel shame. You feel shame. Then you'll get free. Cross check is the call. DeBry does not believe that's an accurate assessment. 
Face off one by the dogs. Andrew Sabalski puts it down behind the net for Guidash. Guidash, the senior, got one in the Mercy Rule game last game. Booth to Guidash. Back to Booth. Working their way inside. Quick shot. It's all a good save made by Osterberg. Oh. Good positioning on that, and he managed to cover it up immediately. Yeah, and Jake DeMoss got a little uh, extra shot there at the end there. They got to watch that because uh, you get too chippy here, and they'll. Uh, we've seen refs throw players for a game, and it's a championship game. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. And I'm guessing since his you know, father's the coach, you don't want to you don't want to get thrown out of the game. I imagine that would coaching. be bad. That, that I know for me that would end badly. 10:27 left here in the first. One other than dogs. We got a minute 40 left on power play for the dogs. Dolan coming out to tee that one up. Ooh, Shades of Marty Turco on that one. Mueller along the near side. These kids don't know who that is. Uh, back around behind, <laughs> Declan Martin. Far side it goes. Up and out of the zone. Horner going to pick it up. 122 left here in the man advantage. Horner on his horse. Back to the near side. Drops it off for Sabalski. Sabalski centering. Booth can't corral it. He goes to the far side. Now he settles it down. Down low for Horner. Far side corner. Decides to go right in front from the short side. Can't get that shot. And they score! The rebound popped in by Guidash. What a clutch move on the quick shot by Horner. There's the senior with a goal in this one. A power play goal makes it two zip. And that was right after Potomac had a decent chance. They were able to, a little bit of a Murphy dump in it. And I believe it was Dumas who almost had a chance at it. And that's when we had uh, Dolan come out and uh, make that pass back up and make the quick offensive turnaround, which has resulted in our 2-0 lead here. Face off one by the Dogs. Mueller battling with Ellingwood on this side. Push it ahead for Dugan. Mueller into the zone. First round the Quick play in front. Sabalski tees it up. Waiting for that goal call. Far side with it still. Miller keeps it in. Back the other way it goes. Near side for Smith. Smith, Mueller battling it out around the outside board. Smith still with it. Swings around to the far side for Ellingwood. They score! Well, while we were waiting for the goal call, we got one the other way. It's 2-1 to one now. I did not catch who had the goal on that one. Thank goodness we have the public address. I didn't either because it was kind of a fluky one. Looked like Dolan here had it for a second, just kind of scooted under his pad. I mean, it happens. And uh, let's put it let's put it this way: that uh, these Titan Panthers have been really putting on the screws since that second goal. Uh, I think they feel it like, hey, no, we gotta we gotta actually put it to them and put 100% effort. And now now they've turned it on. It's Ellingwood with the goal. Frank Ellingwood. And an assist to Ray Ellingwood. So Ellingwood to Ellingwood, specifically Frank from Ray, will get this game within one. Round behind the net it goes. Potomac Falls from their own zone. 8.04 left here in the first. Puck turned over right in front. Luckily, no black sweaters there to get it for Osterberg, that's for sure. Still trapped in their own zone, working along the near side, trying to find that breakout. It's slapped down, and Booth will stop it at center red with a little bit of help from Horner. Sent down low. Mueller going to stop it deep in his own territory. Big hit back behind the net. Surprised there's not a call on that one, to be honest. Yeah, a little bit of charge. A little bit. Quick shot on, save made. Dolan's going to hang on to it. It's a 65. 
That was from Travis Ross with that hit, maybe because he kind of got the worst of it, actually. Yeah, he, it wasn't, uh, he, he didn't hit the man cleanly. He got a lot of boards. Oh, but th those sleeve numbers are awful. I can't see it. Yeah, and you know the sad part? That's exactly what they wore in the NHL. <sighs> that's, uh, that's 90s Kings for you. Back through it goes, Mueller. Picks that one up. He's got a man, a couple men beside him, but he's going to call his own number. He scores! He called that one right, blocker side low. That thing had a vapor trail. 3-1 your score with 7.16 left here in the first. I didn't think Osterberg thought he was going to shoot. I don't think so either. Uh, I think he was, he, and he, obviously there you go. He got caught cheating a little bit off the post to, to get make that, uh, to prepare for the pass shot. But um, yeah, that was quite impressive. And then you're right. Wow, what a wicked shot. Yeah, Mueller had two players trailing. He, he had Dugan, he had Sabalski. He called his own number, and uh, that was the right choice. Being unpredictable is, is far more important. Over to the far side it goes, Tanner Leventry, who uh, was out for the senior night game, so it's good that he's back. Pretty sure uh, he suffered the flu. Glad he's feeling better. Mueller here along the near side. Back ahead for Dugan, down low for Mueller. Puck skitters to the side of the cage. No one there to pick it up. Finally, it's going to step in there for Sabalski. But no, it's turned over for Gonzalez. Over to Ellingwood. Ellingwood to the far side. He has the only goal for these Panthers, Titans, tit Titan Panthers. Back through now to the near side. To the near side. Gonzalez tries to slap that one round the horn. I thought he was going for the shot on. No, it went round the boards. A slow ball effort. Centering effort stolen away by Mueller. Mueller puck protects from Ellingwood. Ellingwood kicks it back out. Scooped up and back along the near side it goes. Grant Gonzalez had it. Now he hands it off for Ray Ellingwood, who has the only assist. Quick play through at the blue line. Center through now, top of the circles to the near side. Working that one through, Kenneth DeBry. Near side boards. Dogs uh, are giving them all sorts of room on the outside, and that's the right move. They keep trying to work it to the front of the net. There was one effort. It went, might have caught the side of the pad and then off the side of the cage. An awkward puck is underneath Dolan. That came from uh, down below the goal line and took an awkward bounce. Nearly went off the pad and in. Clutch save by Dolan. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a referee had to move so much to get out of a play. Because no matter where he went, <laughs> he was right in the middle of it. Uh, when, you, when your hockey sense is a little too good, you just you just keep going where the puck's going to be. Puck played back to the near side. Martin going after it. Along with Isles. Booth going to steal that one away. Looks for an opening. Ahead for Vots. Hops over a stick. Back now to the near side it goes. Declan Martin has it. Stopped by Horner at the dog blue line. and Back the other way. Just back and forth hockey right now. And clearly... The Titan Panthers are really trying to turn this on and turn this game around. They're down by two. They climbed back in it for a moment. They got five minutes left in this period to make that happen. DeBry through center. Sends to the far side boards to Isles. Isles takes that shot. Save made. Bouncing puck. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dolan had it just sliding there before he realized where it was. Oh my goodness gracious. Booth, near side. Sends that one up and out, getting the heat out of a hot kitchen. Oh, that was scary. Back through it goes along the near side. Cyrillic has his pocket pick. Booth in all alone. Booth, dangles, shot. He scores! And ain't that a typical goal? From Raymond Booth, his 24th of the season. What a beaut. That's a kid who can turn a game around all by himself, and he just did that right there, a three-goal lead. Wait a minute, did, did 
three one. They, they haven't put it up yet. Okay, I was I I thought so, but I also don't have one written down for the last one, so I got confused. Back through it goes. Are you sure? It's, it, I think three one might be right. How how am I getting being this bad at this? Mueller on the far side. Back through for Zabalski. Shot, save, made. The rebound just a bit too far. It comes out. Down low it goes. Dugan battling for that yeah, one. Yeah, C4-1. Okay. I, I, where did I miss one then? That's crazy. Who had that Who had that uh, third goal? That was the uh, the laser from... Uh, oh, uh, why I, did they... They meant none of them. I remember, never remember. I don't think they announced it. Oh, that explains that one. That came from Euler. Okay. Quick shot, they score again! Sobolski gets his second on that one. 3.14 left here in the first. It's 5-1. Oh. You think Osterberg may be a little shaken up right now? And that's the problem. They don't have someone else to put in. Right. Even just to spell the kid for a couple minutes, get his head back on straight. Uh, you wonder if it, if you don't want to start looking for a timeout. I, it, it's way too early it's right so, now. Yeah, and that's just it. You're three minutes away from the, the, the break. I know it's not a big break, but it's a break nonetheless. I think that might be the smarter move. I mean, right now, his save percentage is 50%. That's, that's uh, well low what his uh, current one is. Yeah, kid's better than that, that's for sure. It's, uh, but uh, hey, he, there's, it's been a snipe show right so far. Back to the near side it goes. Booth sends it in front. Oh, tried to find a diving Guydash, and Osterberg let Guydash know what he thought of that one. <laughs> Isles through center. Trying to work that backhand. It's uh, taken away from him. Dolan might have gotten a piece of it. They haven't exactly been generous with giving Dolan the saves on the scoreboard. Pushed ahead, Booth playing puck protect. We got 2.30 left here in the first. 5-1 dogs here in the Provisional Championship. Huber upended on the far side, and that's going to draw a call. That's frustration right there. Uh, yeah, I, I'd, I'd agree with that. And that is Dumas, who's going in again. Interference. And, uh, yeah, he did not like that. Ne nearly got a stick broken on the door on that. That, that would be a very <laughs> expensive mistake. I mean, and look at it. Before they scored that fourth or fifth goal, Potomac uh, Dominion had two great chances. The, the, yeah. two, the one came off the boards and almost got pushed in by the pads of Dolan there. And the other one, which just sat in the paint, just slowly creeped across the crease. Uh, at that point, if both those go in, this is a whole different game right now. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it's a little bit of puck luck. Because... Uh, this team in, in the purple and black has done a great job of really putting some effort on, having some great zone time. Uh, they just haven't gotten the right shots and the right bounces. Near side it goes. There's the penalty. Are we going to get the goals? That's the other question. That'd be awesome. I think they're having some technical difficulties down there. Which well, we know all about. We, we know what that's like. Our heart goes out to them. <laughs> Never fun. Never fun to have no. technical difficulties. And some of these some of these PA systems are rough. I mean, you put in the ring not thinking that it's going to be. Oh, well, we uh, have uh, a one-on-one -on -one situation. Forced to the outside. Mueller doing a great job battling ahead uh, against Noah Lasker. Lasker having a second opportunity on that one. Taking all sorts of time away. Uh, the dogs are on the power play. Another minute 25, you'd never know it based on the excellent work of Noah Lasker. Far side it goes for Horner. Finally, in, finally into enemy territory. Swings round behind the net with it to the near side boards. Taking the hole outside. Finally stops top of the slot, takes the shot. Sneaky Ooh. one. Uh, caught in the pads of Osterberg. Osterberg's starting to question himself, and that's never good. No, I mean, when you start looking behind, you see if it trickles in. He just... And honestly, for him, he needs to just take a couple shots, make a couple saves, just to get back in that rhythm. Because right now, you know, he's letting in pretty much every other shot. So, I mean, look, yeah, you got to find ways to shake it off, and that's easy to, easier said than done. I understand. Uh, some of the greatest goalies were able to rebound from having that goal against. Uh, if you 
Look, in goalie coaching, Mickey Kiprasov, one of the best with, with that of, of just being able to shake off a goal. So many scored against, and yet you pick yourself up, and it's a whole new game next shift. Booth in his own zone at his own blue line. Finally sends it to the far side. Declan Martin gets in the way anyways. Horner uh, gets knocked down over it. Sobalski not able to come up with it either. We got 53 seconds left here in the period. 29 on the man advantage. Uh, at this point, it's awfully discombobulated for the Dark Sweaters. All the way back, Dolan going to slap it to the far side. Huber and uh, Dugan with that one. Just 10 seconds left on the power play. A power play uh, with not much to it. Dugan skates past that one. Far side, Huber. Puck somehow stayed in play, and that's going to be five aside hockey once more. Charging into the zone are the Titan Panthers. Miller on the far side. Played right in front. No, up to the top of the slot and out of the near side for Smith. Dropping it off for DeBry. DeBry down to Ellingwood. To the near side. It's taken away by the dogs. And that's how we're going to wrap up this first period of play. Your score 5-1 in favor of the dogs. I think what you saw there at the last, you know, two-ish minutes, these players are used to playing a 15-minute period. And yes, it's only three minutes, but when you're, you know, shorter benches and, you know, in terms of goalie, one goalie, your break is the intermission. And that extra three minutes is a lot. And if you're not used to it, I mean, some of the best hockey players, you know, they play those Sunday afternoon games. It just kind of messes up their whole, you know, flow because they have their their rituals and it just changes everything. So Ab Absolutely. Absolutely. Three minutes is a big deal. You think of that as a percentage. I mean, that's that's an awful lot more hockey. I mean, it's... it's uh, Oh, I should be able to do this. It's 20% more. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. My only question, and I, I kind of feel like something we, we should find out how to make sure that we're not playing two halves. That's short, though, to be two halves. It would be short to be two halves, but I don't know what their ice time situation is. Well, the only other game is the Chantilly game after this. I think that starts should at... be okay. I would, I would hate to call at the end of the second and that be the end of it, you know? Do you want to go down and look or ask? Yeah, I hate to just shout down, but at the same time. I think I can handle this up here if you want to walk down. Or just what was the, what's his name up here? Let's go for a walk. So as we get ready for the beginning of the second period, teams will switch sides as per tradition. And... Uh, you know, they took an extra minute there so to just relax a little bit. You know, if I was Potomac Falls slash Dominion, I'd be pulling um, Ostenberg over and just be like, hey, you got this. Just, just, just take it one shot at a time at this point. John, what would you find out? Well, uh, I checked in with a couple of parents. They said three periods. So okay. I'm going to take their word for it. Man championship game, give them an extra three. Now the question, uh, too far from that, but I'm going to assume a championship game does not have a mercy rule. I don't know. I don't know. Because at this, I mean, saying five goals in the first, this could get interesting. Yeah, I mean, look, we're talking about the two best teams that are combined. This could go the other way very quickly. Is it good? You know, it's, uh, it doesn't take much for that pendulum to swing. Takes for momentum to shift. One lucky bounce. That's all it is. So uh, let's not count anything yet. That's just a question. The rules as, are uh, different. As these teams go for that ship. That pleasure schooner. That junk. That galleon. Round to the far side it goes. Guy Dash takes that shot. Caught up in traffic. Horner. Battling for it still. How is he keeping up with that? Goodness gracious. Puck will finally come loose. Sent up, but not out. It's somewhere <laughs> in Declan Martin. <laughs> it's in his uh, hip pads, I think. <laughs> Does that mean he gets to drop the puck then too? <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think that's how that works. Aww. 
He, he just wanted the puck so badly that he just doesn't take it for a ride. Well, that'll be a face-off inside the zone. 17-27 left here in the second, which they have an update on the scoreboard, but we all know what it is. 5-1 dogs here in the championship. Back to the near side. Leventry takes that shot. Rebound sails over to the far side. Dugan battling for it. Picked loose by Smith. Colby Smith, far side. To the near side for DeBry. He knocks down Tanner Leventry. Leventry returns the favor. Near side it goes. Ellingwood with it. He has an assist on the night. Near side for DeBry. DeBry takes a shot. Oh, right into the oh. shin of, of uh, Zabalski. That, he, he's hurting. I get the feeling that didn't hit square in the pad either. Oh, my goodness. Back to the near side it goes. Dugan in enemy territory. Gonzalez on him quick. No, I'm sorry. That was Aiden Pepper. DeBry. He, he's a pepper? He is a pepper. Hope he gets his doctorate. Horner. In behind, shot, save made on the blocker, and a good one there. Near side it goes, Jung trying to get to that one, can't make the connection. Up and out, we have a delayed icing call, and it'll be. 16-15 left here in the first, 5-1 dogs. That's what Austinburg needs, a couple you know, good saves like that, and you're right back in it, right? That's exactly it. They're, they're being a very uh, frugal with the shot count here. Well, you know, coaches usually like to see that unless they're being blown out and they want to see their goalies with a high save percentage. So it depends on your, uh, on your audience. You, you know when a goalie is taking the shot count because it's astronomical. That's usually how that works. Ah, uh, yes, I do remember those days. Booth, far side. Takes the backhand effort. It's off the side of the cage. Now back behind that. Oh, big hit up high. Uh, that was... That was Guy Dash getting a little, little too much of that one. Martin takes the shot that hit a shin pad on the way in, skies it. Far side picked up there by Tyler Isles. On the far side, Horner working that puck now to the near side for Booth. Booth sends it ahead for Horner at center red. He has his pocket picked, finally gets back on side. How did he get back to it? Just the hands on Horner. The sophomore's got a, a good career ahead of him. Looking forward to the rest of that. Maybe, hopefully, he'll find his own jersey. <laughs> Far side it goes. Smith into the zone, but it's offside, so they leave it. Buy him one. <laughs> We're going to have to. You're good at putting names on jerseys, aren't I right? will figure it out. <laughs> write it with a Sharpie if I have to. Far side for Ellingwood. He's probably going to put black tape on it. Wouldn't it be hard to put, like, sh oh, silver tape, tape Sharpie? falls off. Yeah, but still. At least you can start with it. Huber. Sends it up and out. Picked up there by Nathan DeBry. DeBry to the far side for Cyrillic. Sends to the near side corner. Smith chasing it down. Blue sweater going to get there first. Ellingwood gets it right back. Stopped off by Huber before it gets to the cage. Good defensive effort there by Huber. He's been in right place, right time all season long. Back along this near side. Scooped up there by Guydash. Guydash got a couple black sweaters beside him. Into the zone now. He turns about, centers it. Can't make the connection with Miller. Down low for Ellingwood. Played off by Dugan, fresh off the bench. You gotta watch that too many men, that was close. Back the other way, and now there's too few men. Where are they? Smith. Oh, his pocket pick. Beautiful what pick. an effort there. Is that Anspau? No, that's Preston Murrell. Excellent work. DeBry dangles his way in, shot, save made, uh, Brennan Dolan, he nearly backed up into the net, he caught himself at the last second, that's all that really matters. 5-1 your score, 13-55 left here in the first. That was a good fake. Yeah. Going in the zone. I can't see the numbers when watching through the camera, so who was that? Uh, that was, um, well now you're going to ask me the tough questions. Yeah, well, uh, that's what you're for, right? I, I know, and I, ha I had it, I'm sure I said it, uh, and it, it's... It's, it's in one ear and out the other. Let's say Pepper, because I like a Pepper. I, I like, I like that name. It certainly wasn't Pepper. He's I know, but now. still. <laughs> Quick play Ooh. in front. Skitters aside. Save made Dolan. Played off by Mueller, uh. who uh, knocks a man into the referee, who goes down. Poor ref. Totally, they're just in the right <laughs> space today. 
Pushed ahead. Sabalski, he's back out there. That's good to see after that shot to the shin. Tries to leave a slow ball coming in. Bouncing puck. It's, it's in. in. It's, it's in. in the back of the net. Sabalski's going to have to get the credit on that one. He let. He, he basically didn't even shoot it. He, he just let it slide and uh, misplayed by Osterberg. Uh, oh. Did cross the line. The referee very emphatic on that one. That's 6-1. That's one of those ones, like, as, as a goalie, it's so, it's like in slow motion. Oh, I can only imagine. You just go like, I got it. Oh. Yeah. I just, oh, quite unfortunate. Yeah, that's a heartbreaker. 6-1 your score. This is the provisional championship game. When teams combine for a lack of players, they are not allowed in the NVSHL playoffs, which are in their second week. They don't want teams to, uh, com schools to combine to create super teams. That is Sobalski's third goal on the night. Sure he wanted something a little fancier, but hey, he'll take it. So as I was saying, you can't go into the playoffs if you're combined teams. So instead of just playing 10 games for the fun of it, it was organized to have a championship game. Puck played in front. Man knocked down. Puck's still loose there in the slot. We're going to have a delayed penalty call coming against the Dogs. We'll see the power play of this Panther-Titan team for the first time. But that's if uh, the Dogs can ever get the puck back. Quick shot save made by Dolan. we will have it touched up by the defense. Anyhow. Can't go into the playoffs of your combined team. So instead of just having, you know, play for the fun of it, sportsmanship, yada, yada. They uh, made a championship game between the top two combined teams. And it, I'm sorry, that's a sh I know you want to not have the super teams, but there's ways you, you, in other words, police that. You, you know, you could tell when teams are really trying. Like this, you know, Tuscarora or Westfield team, it has come together and could play against any team. You know, just because. I'm sure what they, I'm sure this rule was written when there were a lot fewer combined teams. Quick shot, save made, bounce comes right loose. Another quick shot on. Martin keeps it in top of the slot, sends it over the far side. Quick shot from DeBry. Isles, another shot, save made, Dolan. It's a shooting gallery out there. They're going to say the net came off, it's Moorings, they're going to play it to the near side. Yes, yes. His helmet gave it away. We got to get a 12.24 left in the period. Uh, 144 left on this uh, penalty kill for the Dogs. Face-off won by the Panther Titans. Martin in the corner looking for someone to pass or shoot. Shoots it. Save made by Dolan. Uh, glove's been active there. Good work, Phil. Thanks. So shots, in, the, in theory, should be even at 15 apiece right now. The Panther Titans have had their chances right now. Face-off won by Panther Titans. Dumped in by Martin. Tried to pass to Demaz and it's turned over to... I don't have my paper in front of me. It was Dugan, who gets a little bit tripped up on in going into the, zone, the offensive zone there. He's having a little battle there with Martin. Martin takes the puck across center line. Into the blue line, he's going in for shot and high above the glove side of Dolan. Booth takes the puck in the corner and dumps it down, and we have a clearing here. Well, it's a good clear by the dogs. You got to get the heat out of a hot kitchen as often as you can. We got 57 seconds left on that man advantage. You, uh, you got to make it count. Yeah. And Gossesburg's not taking a chance on that one. He's going to cover that one up. 11.28 left here in the second in this provisional championship game. Team's looking for that brig, that destroyer, that man of war, that ship. Is, is there an actual ship? I, I don't know if there's a trophy, but it's a ship. Ship's a ship. Whether it be a settee, a sloop, or a trireme, Phil, a ship is a ship. Quick shot saved by Ossisberg. Cyrillic puts it into the zone, chases after it there. Far side in for Noah Lasker. Lasker hands it off to Cyrillic. Far side. Surveys his options. Finally goes up to the far point for Ellingwood. It's shot. Got caught up in traffic on the way in. Puck bounces up and out of play. And they're not going to get that one back. It's into the stands. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, they're, they're, gonna, they're, well, gonna, they're trying to. Oh, they're trying. Someone had their hand up there. 
Oh, oh, and there you go. Yay! Yay. 17 seconds left on the penalty to uh, Guy Dash. Face off to the right of Dolan here. Ellingwood to the near side it goes. Kept in on the near side point by Cyrillic. Teed up from Lasker. Just a bit high. Far side. Centering effort. Another odd bounce. Dolan kept it out on that one. Now to the near side. DeBry. We have five aside hockey. Quick shot in front. St steered aside. Dolan with that save. Stingy on the numbers. That's for sure. Cyrillic. Quick shot. I don't know how Dolan tracked that one. He got it. That went straight to the glove. I, uh, from here, I could I had saw the path that he did. You? I, yeah, there was it, a that host was, of people. It was the left. it was razor thin, and I'm, I'm impressed that he Woo. got that. I will say one thing still: the Tuscarora Westfield has a little bit of issues with. It's letting that offense behind their defense, and situations like this. There's a couple times where if it would just been a good rebound, there was a, you know, Dominion Potomac Falls player right there that could just shot it right in. Yeah, they've, uh, they've gotten lucky. Puck luck. There's been a lot of puck luck and a lot of uh, pucks bouncing over sticks. Not getting that cut and flood in between periods certainly doesn't help that either. Martin from his own blue line. We have five aside again. Sitting in the far side. Driving in is Tyler Isles. Far side for Booth. Booth gets it up and out of the zone. Delayed offsides. Tuscarora defenseman realize what's going on there. We'll send it the length of the ice. You're gonna have an icing back the other way? No, all right. Back to that near side, Dugan with it. The Westfield sophomore loses an edge here in the near corner. Why don't you get those skates sharpened? Back to the near side. Dumas in the way. Carried back for Isles. Isles takes the shot, it went off of Booth's stick, up into the netting. Booth whiffed on that follow through. 9.20 left here in the first. 6-1 dogs here in this provisional championship. <laughs> Dominion Potomac Falls came into this one at 6-4. The Ice Dogs are 5-5. Five five. Perhaps, uh, you know, provisionally it's nice to have that championship. Uh, maybe these teams are more of at a disadvantage than risking trying to make a super team. Either way, it's something nice to play for. Gives you something to be like, oh, hey, why do the standings matter? No, yeah, these players work hard. They Absolutely. deserve something. Absolutely. It's, it's something to play for, and not just, hey, we're going to have 10 games of fun. That's what that's what Spring League is. Over the far side, it goes for Mueller, which uh, we might be forced to have more coverage of in the near future, but uh, uh -oh. that's, a, that's a whole different discussion. Back through. Mueller. The first I'm hearing of it. Yep, it is. Back through it goes for Guy Dash. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> Guy Dash. Can't get a handle on. Out to the far side now. Up but not out. It's put back in by Mueller. Caught up in Horner's skates. Back the other way. Cyrillic on the outside. Defenseman knocked down. Quick shot. Bouncing puck. Save made Dolan. Kid stood on his head so far. My goodness. It, the numbers don't bear out to be ridiculous, but those saves have been ridiculous. Back through it goes for Horner. Horner. Lost it on the way in. Back to the near side it goes for Dumas. Far side for DeBry. DeBry from his own zone. Works the break out to the near side for Dumas, and in comes Booth. Booth waits for Guy Dash to tag up and then into the zone. Dumps it in for Guy Dash. No one there to pick it up, though. Dumas on the near side will chip it ahead. It's played back by Sabalski. Dumas picking up the loose change through center now ahead for Isles. Isles in behind the defense. Backhand effort. Can't get through. Huber was there yet again. You set your watch by that kid. He's always in the right place. Back over to the far side for Dugan. Dugan dangles. I wonder if this team has uh, watched some coverage. They've had Dugan pinned all night, but they haven't been able to get it away from Booth. Two on one shot, they score! 
No, wait, where are they? I'm, they have to call that one. They have to. That, was, uh, that one looked were, very his clean. His arms looked very weird when he was calling it. That sounds very judgy, but okay. Wait, well, look like he waved <laughs> it off. He's, he's flying out with his arms like, you know, as a T. It's like, what? No, look, usually it's just, it's, the, what is that? A seven. It can't be an L. It's upside down. A seven. Are you okay? I'm not so sure you're okay. We, there, there are medical professionals here who can help you. Is there? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> You're driving home. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll wait for the goal call on that one. The uh, two-on-one will bear fruit. It's six to two with seven minutes left here in the second period of this provisional championship. Isles is going to get that one. Kenneth DeBry getting the assist. Tyler Isles in with DeBry on a two on one. Isles called it himself. That worked out. Got it past Dolan. It's six to two now with 6.30 left. Back to the near side. Far side. Smith puts it down low for Ellingwood. Ellingwood right in front on the doorstep. A number of defenders there. <laughs> and Dugan's been setting up shot behind Dolan. Back to the far side it goes. From the far point, Gonzalez gets his second shot on, and Dolan right to the glove. He's got that covered. 6 of 4 left in the second here. The shots have uh, the shots have switched sides. 20-16 uh, in favor of the Dominion Potomac Falls team. The pat 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 ten, pat the pad ties? I don't <laughs> think that's how that works. <laughs> trying to give a good goodbye name. It's easy for Tuscarora Westfield, the dog. They, I mean, they, they both happen to be canine in, in nature. Huskies and ice dogs. I, ice keys. Ice keys? I, ice keys. It's going to be literal. Back over to the far side. Oh, and right in through the defense. Look, shot, save, made. Declan Martin was on his horse and all the way. And Dolan was well out of position looking to cut down the shot, and he managed to make that save at point blank range. <laughs> Far side it goes. Guy Dash has got some room. Number of sweaters behind him. He's going to dump it in once he's past the blue line. Skirted away there by Joe Cyrillic. Cyrillic dumps it in. Vots chasing it down. Sends it to the far side. Horner going after it. Centers it. Isles is the only one there to pick it up. Five minutes left here in the second. It's 6 2 dogs. Cyrillic. Long toss on to Ellingwood. Quick shot. Save made Dolan. It's a bouncing puck. That whistle was quick. Uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the man in front, Colby Smith, is right to, to call foul on that one. That was a quick whistle. They assumed Dolan had it. It bounced in front, and he did eventually cover it, but it was quick. It was quick. I mean, the referee is supposed to call. The play dead when the puck is out of sight, but sometimes you get some quick ones, and then sometimes you're just like, "Where was the whistle?" Man, it's all about ref positioning or linesman positioning on that one. Oh, the ref we actually have one. a difference in this game. We haven't all season. To the near side it goes. Pushed up and out by Tanner Leventry. No, it's stopped. Leventry re retreats back and will put the hit on. Ahead for Miller, who gets it up and out. Lasker will cycle back, realizes that Frank Ellingwood is in deep. Puts it back to the near side. Smith will finally send it back in to the dog territory. Leventry to the far side. Trying to find Dugan. Dugan waited just a bit too long. It's taken away by Kenneth DeBry. Ground to the near side. There's a hook. Yep, they got it. I mean, high stick, I think. They're calling something. I mean, hey, two minutes is two minutes, but uh, can't can't use the lumber. That's Ellingwood that's going into the box. Oh, we can hear him. I, I mean, you know, got to project that voice. Obviously, I've never done such a thing. Four ten left here in the first. Yeah, there's a difference between projection and screaming. 
yes, you're right. Do you want to hear me scream? No, I heard you when you were on the phone call earlier. My word. High stick for Frank Ellingwood. Booth into the zone. Round behind the net. Doubles back, surveys an option from Wayne Gretzky's office. Over to the far side. Back to the near boards now for Mueller. Mueller up top. Who is that? That's Horner. Now to the near side for Mueller. Down low for Guydash. Guydash, near side boards up to the near side for Mueller. Mueller to Horner. Top of the slot. Puts the shot on. It won't get through. Now a battle to keep it in. They did for a moment, but Mueller was doing the right thing getting back for it. Now he's in a foot race with Declan Martin. Martin will actually get there first, but Mueller with enough support. A lot of help from Guy Dash plays to Andrew Sabalski here on the near side, back to Booth. 108 left here on this power play. Quick shot. Save made. The rebound over on the far side corner. Booth with it over to Sabalski. Up top, no, that must have been Guy Dash far down, down low, so that's Booth takes the shot. Guy Dash in that far side, surveying his options. Decides to return to the corner. Shakes a man off. That was Martin. Round behind for Horner. Horner in front. Shot from Sabalski on the one time. Save made. Puck cleared up and out. 40 seconds remain as Brennan Dolan will step out. Have a nice walk and leave it off for Raymond Booth. Booth to the far side for Mueller. Mueller tees it up. Takes the shot. This time Osterberg has it. He scored another one earlier in this game with uh, much the same effort. Osterberg, fool me one, shame on you. He was asking me if we were doing the other game. I mean, we really want to, but I... It is Chantilly, that is the rival. Yeah, I mean, we really want to really support St. Chantilly. They also don't have sleeve numbers. <laughs> that's the big one. That's the next one. That's what we were just saying. But we're for Westfield, so Westfield and Chantilly, they're the rivals, so... All right. Well, if you want to stick around. <laughs> Back over on the far side. I, I feel like we'd have to at least switch Twitter users. He, uh, he, he was trying to convince me. <laughs> I mean... 208 remains here in the second period. 6-2 your score in favor of the Dogs. Is it the actual championship for the NBSHL? I thought there was three rounds. I thought so too, but I mean, if it's a championship, I, I do love a ship. There was a cup out there, I mean... Back through it goes now. Guy Dash. Maybe, maybe we'll talk to some people between games. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll talk. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll talk you into it. We'll just finesse a little bit. We'll buy you a sandwich. You, you buy me a sandwich for Sunday's game, okay? I can buy you two sandwiches. Back over to the far side. DeBry sitting it ahead to Smith. Minute 30 left here in this second period. DeBry takes a shot. Save made Dolan. It's an awkward one, and he manages to hang on to that in the bread basket. I had to explain to someone today about the sandwich with fries on it. Oh, yeah? And they're like, fries? It's like, it's amazing. Well, you, you can't forget that vinegar-based coleslaw on there either. Well, yeah, look, uh, absolutely. They've got to get the vinegar coleslaw. But a couple of yinzers here calling games. Carpetbaggers here in Virginia. Back through it comes now to the near side. French fries on salad. That's another thing that's alien down here. Yins are special. Far side. Ranch on everything. Back to that near side boards. Centering effort. Stolen away by Sabalski. Dumas will fan it away from him on the sweep check. To the near side. Martin. Trying to center for Dumas. A little bit too far. Push it ahead for Travis Ross. Ross. Had the enemy blue line. Had his pocket pick. Booth now the other way. Going to put it right in front. Point blank range. And now Sabalski. He scored. Pitchfork puts it in. He just pushed Pitchfork down a little poke at it. And it's in the back of the net. His fourth goal of the game. And uh, Dumas is arguing with the ref. He, uh, and he's tossing him. I think he was saying the net was kind of partially off. It shouldn't count. And he's getting tossed right now. And uh, yeah. The referees are going to have to put a lid on this one. That's that's difficult. I think uh, that's Demaz's third time in the box. I mean, could could there have been a little bit of interference on the goaltender? I mean, I suppose. I didn't see it, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. My angle uh, up here ain't the best for that. And it's very hard to tell from a little screen. Well, yeah, yeah. No, between the two of us, we're uh, we're not doing well. So the other of you at home, zoom in. You hit reply in a little yeah, bit. See, you know? Look at that advantage you have. 
but uh, what'd they give him? Well, we do have a penalty on the board for two. I imagine on sportsman like would be the easy one. All right, but I was, I, you'd think a two out of ten at this point. Well, we haven't seen another guy come into the box, so we don't think it's a ten yet. Unless... No, they closed the door. Yeah, it's an unsportsmanlike. 30 seconds left. Dogs on the power play for the remainder of the period, notwithstanding a goal. Andrew Sabalski, if the stats are right, has had a 50% of his season goals in this game. He had eight on the regular season, four in this one for 12 goals so far in this season. I mean, how many pros do you know that they score their goals? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they're bouncing. Puck nearly went in. And that's how we're going to wrap up this second period. 7-2 your score in favor of the Dogs here in the Provisional Championship. I mean, think about uh, Craig Adams. I mean, guys scored three, four goals the whole season. He has six in the playoffs. I mean, those are the players that they shine during your championships. Uh, you know, is, is it that he's not being looked at? Is it, is it just, you know, the right situation mentally? It's hard to say. Are, are we having a cotton flood? You might have a cut and flood. I mean, uh, Potomac Falls and Dominion are, are coming off. What? With eight minutes? So why does it say 14.53? I don't think they realize there's an intermission button on those things. I don't think so either. But Man, if I would have known this, I would have gone for interviews. I, I would have tried to set up for that, but we totally don't have that capability with what we got. Shucks. Here's the other problem. We don't have rosters if we would stay for the next game. That is another problem. Um, you know what? Yeah, championship game. Do it right. I can see him doing the cut and flood. So this is what? I uh, just wish we would have known. I totally would have totally would have went all out for it. Oh, well. I don't know. Can he get uh, Raj up here? <laughs> Probably. But should the kid also rest? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to let him rest. It yeah. also says no skates upstairs. So. We build like little skate guards. <laughs> Do you have a pair of skate guards? I don't have a pair of skates. I don't have a pair <laughs> of skate guards. Although I did win ice skate for the first time in December. For the first time. That, uh, and everyone's that's like. to be proud of. And some, well, you know. I'm just a bad skater. I admit it. Um, we're, we're not going to go into the things I weren't allowed to do as a child, okay? Because I could have been a really good, you know, tackle in football, too. Uh -huh. and I wasn't allowed to play football either. But uh, I could have been a contender. I could have been a contender. Um, but um, and then fall, everyone's like, you you lied. You never did. I'm like, no. Honestly, it's the first time I ever did. Well, I'm, glad, I, I'm, I'm glad you've taken your first step into a larger world. I was. It was amazing. Um so, I mean, let's talk some stats here. Shots are pretty even right now, 24-23 in favor of your dogs. Um, I, we do think the shots are on the, you know, lower side. I, I, I do think it's a, probably closer to 30-29 for each team, actually. Um, but, you know, it is, if you've never done scorekeeping, you've never done the box, it is a hard job and it can get tr tr tricky there. This might take longer than eight minutes because the bony has not come out yet. True. They're just not used to it. Ref, yeah, refs haven't gone off either. They're waiting for the bony to come live. They're probably moving nets. No. You also uh, got to worry about, too, because I think the next game is at 8 and it is 7.30. Uh, well, we'll find out, I guess. Although we didn't start on time, so that's probably probably an issue. It's, uh, it's not exactly Kettler MedStar where they're going to just be like, you're done. Yeah, that was quite interesting, actually. Game yeah. was out of, hey, it was against Yorktown. I mean, the game was out of reach for Westville at the time, and uh, yeah. Well, looking at the regular season, Raymond Booth, uh, who has one goal on the night, I, I, I've been trying to keep track here on my roster. He's got at least one. He's got one. 
Uh, he finished fourth in scoring, both in points and in goals. And so, yeah, uh, as John's taking care of something here, yeah, Booth on the season right now, 23 goals and 10 assists for 33 points. Your next person in terms of points alone is Matt Guidash, who's had seven goals and 12 assists there for 19 points. And then you have Zabalski, but Zabalski, you know, he's got he's got 18 points in the season. He had four goals, or eight goals so far. Four tonight, though, so he's up to 12 for the season, uh, as John pointed out earlier. And the other side for Dominion Potomac, their leading point getter is Tyler Isles with 22 points with 15 goals and 7 assists. Ray Ellingwood uh, with 10. You got a couple with 10 here. Uh, Colby Smith with 10. Jake Dumas with 16. Declan Martin. And these are names we've called all night. So both teams are having their, their star players produce points for them tonight. The difference has been some bus lucky bounces because both goaltenders have been extremely well. Giving great, great commentating here, and John's not even listening to me. So, if you guys are enjoying this game at home, um, it's not as bad here. This is not the coldest rink we've ever been in. We've been in some cold rinks, and sometimes it's nice to be at home and just watch the game from there. Still waiting for the uh, Zamboni to come out. Uh, fun fact, Zamboni is a company name, not the actual type. Of, it's a, we just call it Zamboni, but that is the name. Just like Kleenex or tissues, but we all call them Kleenex, even though Kleenex is a name, name brand. And here's a Zamboni driver. Probably wasn't uh, aware that he actually had to do a cut today because we usually don't have a cut and flood between periods. But it is a championship game, so you might as well do it right, give them nice clean. So you can't complain about the ice being the problem, that both teams have nice clean ice to work on for the last period of the game. Barring any overtime, which I would think normally in uh, normal regular season rules, you don't have an overtime. The game ends in a tie. But since it's a championship game, you have to have someone that wins. So you play until someone wins. That can get tricky with ice time. We'll ask John when he comes back on here to see if he knows the rule on that. <laughs> They're playing Ice Ice Baby. How's that intermission report going? I ran out of stuff at this point. You ran out of stuff. I was reading. I read the stats already. And talked about how both teams are having their point getters score for them tonight. And right now it's been really puck luck. Not necessarily bad goaltending on either side because both goaltenders have been pretty good. Um, we were going to, as us, the audience, we're going to ask you, this is a championship game. So overtime, if it gets to there. I would imagine there is. Oh, you would I have to imagine. Have to. Yeah. But then it's like, would it be uh, like a, a short period and then a shootout for it? Because you're, you're, you're dealing with ice time ice at that time point. Ice time would be the question. Yeah. yeah. There is a trophy. For this. The, the, the smaller of the two trophies is, uh, is for this game. Okay. And then there's a big trophy for the next game. And that is the championship game for That is the two? championship game. The coaches might have stickers for rosters, you know, just put the sticker on the score sheet. Get an extra sticker since it's their last game anyways. Tell me the truth, you guys saw this coming? What's that? 
No. no not, not at all. Not in the slightest. Seven to the score here in the second intermission. It's true. This is not something that, that you expected. Uh, Westfield slash Tuscarora, five and five on the season. 61 to 58 goals for goals against. I mean, that differential's, you know, plus three. You don't, if, you don't expect this. And it, it's, if you extend the season two or three games to see how it played out, because, again, we said at the beginning of the broadcast, last three or four, they won. They won those handily. The only one they lost badly was to Yorktown. And Yorktown's uh, a heck of a team. And Yorktown, which, by the way, was off today, I believe, because they were had no power in Arlington. Oh, yeah? I remember hearing that this morning. I believe huh. it's Yorktown. They had no power. So if they had a game tonight, those kids rested up. But, uh, yeah, Yorktown is a powerhouse. We, we, watched, we called a game last year for them. Unfortunately, this year we can't because it, schedules just didn't line up. Yeah, no, we'll, uh, we'll be very much out of state. Yeah, we'll, we'll be in uh, we'll work. We'll be in a warm spot at that point. I, I add some hockey games in the Phoenix for that yeah. day. That's a, that's a little bit of a hike. Just a little bit. We can't really make it back and yeah, go back there for it. Which is a shame because I really did enjoy that game last it year. It was. That was a great game with uh, uh, Washington, now Washington Liberty. I still think it should be Washington Lafayette. I'm very upset by that. You have another general. They're the generals, right? You want that WL to stay there. Oh, the Marquis like, de Lafayette. They're, they're going to be changing uh, Robert e. Lee High School. As they should. And they sh you, you should submit, be like, it's because they're the, the Rebels, right, I believe? Lee, I or, don't I, actually know. I, I think, think you're right. I think they're the Rebels. They're not the Generals. Well, I mean, look, they could be at this point. I don't, I don't, I don't have a phone. You have a phone you could be looking oh, this I, up. Oh, I have a phone I could be Mine is being this used. Up. Oh, but well, you should suggest, right. you suggest oh. it should be Lafayette. Well, Lafayette will be, I, I mean, you make it, uh, uh, there's another Lee that's a, a revolutionary guy. And now, now uh, we've talked about Lightfoot this, yeah. Lee, what's, uh, yeah, but I just, I think that's just too, too close. close. And but you don't have to change any of the signs. <sighs> so many signs you leave the same. But it's, it's, it's all about, is it worth the money versus the image? I mean, it, it it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough conversation. It I mean, as, as some people are aware of. Do you want um, a nice clean break from it, you know, it's. No, they're the Lancers. They're the Lee Lancers. But who's the Rebels? Uh, the former Jeb Stewart was. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of then. Could be. Which is now Justice and their uh, Justice High School. And I don't know what their mascot is now. I have like three dozen emails. What happened? Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't tell because I can't access my email. Oh, right now. moan, moan, complain, complain. You have to spend a few minutes without your phone. A few minutes. Dar Dar no, kids are all not, addicted. Not only addicted to your phone. Not only do we have longer periods, but then we have a cut and flood here. Usually a game that's oh, an you're, hour. You're so is deprived. Our <laughs> <laughs> uh, Meanwhile, you're staring at the phone the entire time, and you're still having a withdrawal. That's what I'm looking to look at. Darn kids. This is the comedic stylings of the cross ice feet, providing your broadcast needs to the Northern Virginia area. Washington DC. Since 2006. Washington DC and Maryland. Great, greater Metropolitan greater Washington. Metropolitan. Um, 2006, 2008. When did, when did the company actually start? I wasn't there at the time. Neither were you. Why no. am I asking you? I don't know. I think it was. I think 2008. Wasn't it the thing Dave was doing it for five yes. years when I came down? So that'd be 2007, 2008. Yeah, 2008. I wanted 2008. And uh, if by any chance, Dave, you're listening. He's not listening. Yeah. Come back soon. We'll have to yeah. get together and do a game. Well, well, we're trying to put together a game right after this one. There's a lot of complications involved. Are there? Are there really? So how are we going to broadcast it? What Twitter feed are we going to use? Yeah, use the CIF underscore live. I even got signs for it. I have them for Sunday. I just need to print more new ones for Sunday. Love me a ship. Love me a ship.
Referee's coming back out. We're almost there. Almost there. You don't have to hear our ramblings anymore. We'll actually have something to talk about, something in front of us. You watch how well you hum over there. We might get flagged on YouTube. You're saying I need to be bad at it. I've seen a lot of basketball jerseys. I don't get it. It's hockey, people. People like wearing a jersey? So I'm guessing it's Chantilly versus Riverside tonight? That is correct. The Riverside Rams. Based out of what, Loudoun? Uh, I do believe so. And the Chantilly Chargers. I hate it's two CHs with two different, there's a soft one and then a hard one. It just drives me nuts. That's what drives you nuts? Well, I mean, there's a lot of things. It's that's just on the pile. It's just generally on the pile of reasons why I'm, I, I'm mad. I have a, down here to my right, we have a baby blue penguin jersey and a devil's the green jersey standing next to each other with the Golden Knights. Uh, oh, and they're actually cut. Is that Latang and Brodeur? Uh, third, yeah, it's Brodeur for sure. And I, it's 55 something, yeah, it's 58. It's 58 yeah, it is Latang. I feel like Harry Carey at this point, just just looking at random things. He had a Cubs Hi. jersey too. That is a, a weird Cubs. mix. There's a Cubby Cubs jersey. Win. Cubs, Cubs win. win. Um, and then you got a, a Golden Knights jersey down there. I mean, you know, they're the hip popular thing. That's a James Neal, which is uh, no longer a player for the Golden Knights. He plays for, I believe, he plays for Edmonton now. He went to Calgary for a little bit, and then with Edmonton or vice versa. Yeah, totally unprepared to have an intermission. Could you tell? Seven to your score. Shots 24 to 23 in favor of the dogs. Dolan has played very well in net for the Ice Dogs. Dolan, the junior from out of Westfield. Had 10 goals against coming into this game. Derek Osterberg, as we said, one of six goalies in the NVSHL to play all 450 minutes. Uh, tied for first in the league. Coming in here, Raymond Booth was fourth on the points list and uh, fourth on the goals list. He is now tied for third, assuming Flint Hill hasn't played, which I think is a good assumption to make. And one away from being tied for third in points, Jonathan Reverse from Stonebridge. Two points ahead of him. Be a little tougher to catch Matthew Price. It's a six-point differential. Flint Hill's been doing a lot of remodel. Have you seen? They're building a whole new middle school too. Are they? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, everything's torn up over there. Chantilly, meanwhile, uh, Owen Morgan uh, on top with goals and points on the season. Forty-three points in ten games. How about that? Booth, near side. Centers it through for Mueller. Mueller in his own zone. Dishes it off to the near boards for Guy Dash. Far side, Mueller carries the mail. Pitchforks it ahead. And it's a power play for another 55 seconds for the Dogs. Booth tees it up. Long toss, saved. Osterberg will dish it aside. Clear the length of the ice. Dolan going to chase after it behind his own net. He leaves it. Mueller carries. Ahead for Guy Dash. Guy Dash chips it into the zone. Return to sender. Address unknown. Sent round behind the net. Over these near boards. Horner trying to get into it. Isles bounces that puck high, but stolen away there by Booth. Booth near side for Sabalski. Back now to the near side. Sabalski with four goals on the night. Pass it back, a nice soft one. 
to the blue line. Lots of pressure on Huber. We'll put it back into the zone. Brown to the near side boards. Picked up by Horner. Horner off the far side. Lost it, sent in, and now chipped back up and out. People pouring in here for Riverside and Chantilly already. A little behind here on the ice time, I'm sure. Dugan in his own zone. Lots of pressure on the dogs. Ice is tilted in that direction. Guydash has to glove it. Plays it back to Booth. Booth sends a hard wrap off the near side. It's scooped up by Smith. Plays it off to Ellingwood. Round to the near side it goes. Smith takes a shot. Save made. Brandon Dolan. 15-53 left here in the third. 7-2 your score. Plains he had, has, can't, doesn't have his phone, plays on his watch. I tell you, some people, some people. Stop looking over my shoulder. I don't have to look over your shoulder. I see your head looking at your what, your wrist. What else you do? I could be looking at my roster, which is in my yeah, hand. I know you're not. Back behind the net it goes for Mueller. Assumptions, man. Yep. Give me a gavel, I'm judging. Near side. Smith plays off with, who is that? That's Grant Gonzalez. Ahead for Ellingwood. Ellingwood can't get the shot off. Pushed ahead there now for Andrew Sabalski. Three on two back the other way. Sabalski sends the slow ball in. Dugan chasing it down. Carried up and away. Oh, God, you're right. Those numbers are brutal. I do believe that's Noah Lasker. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Lasker on the far side now of dog territory. Drops it back. Dugan picks it up. Puts it ahead for Sabalski. Sabalski, look, shot. There's number five. Right through the wickets is eight to two. Favor the dogs. Fifth goal on the night. Andrew Sabalski, the junior from Tuscarora, really lighting a lamp tonight. I wonder if he has any experience playing against uh, Ostersburg. You know, that's possible. Back now for Booth. Booth, round behind. It really is a shame. I mean, Osterberg has played well, but it would. It, I wish they could give the kid a spell, you know, just, just get him out of there a little bit. They're going to call that offsides. Assist number 74, Jack Dugan. Dugan gets an assist. Yeah, looking on paper, both teams are fairly, you know, even. And, you know, the school bar makes it look like it's a lopsided affair. I mean, but both sides have played well. Shots are even, 25 apiece, you know. That's uh, it's quality of shots, and, and it's been Dolan standing on his head. When I'll be honest, I didn't expect the kid to play this well. He had, yeah, and he, he had some puck luck, too. He yeah. Two I mean, didn't go in right moments you know it's it's better to, to be lucky and, and and Dolan has really showed up and really played the game of his life tonight Horner quick shot off the side of the cage <laughs> fold some people in the audience that sure did near side Mueller can't get the pass through but he gets it right back 1407 left here in the third Mueller now top of the slot Puck protect to the outside. Takes shot from the other side. He skies it. I think that's three for Mueller. At least two, if not three. Nine to two, your score. Top shelf where Mama hides the cookies. And I was just thinking that, yes, they got a break. But still, longer periods, you got the break that you usually don't have to. Look to see what happens towards seven, eight minutes left of the game to see how tired the teams might get. Because you, you, even though you had that 15 minute sit down, you still, you're putting in a lot of effort. I mean, how many miles does an ice skater go during oh, the game? Oh, yeah, I, I, that's something I should know. That is something I definitely I should know. I thought you didn't know. I, you I, I used to, I've said it. I've been, I've been too worried about, you know, putting together a list of ships 
of Barkays. Yes, I of see Satis, that. Of Satis, of Dreadnoughts, of Nars. I, I, Get that ship tonight, boys. I, I'm not playing into your game. <laughs> Corner with the assist. They didn't say how many of the game. It, it, it's at least his second. I, I imagine they would say if it was his third. Quick shot on. Save made Dolan. He's been everywhere he's had to. He's played a great game. I cannot say enough about Brandon Dolan tonight. We have a Madonna down here. Really? A oh, Madonna uh, on the side here. And uh, Drew and oh, a North Stars jersey too. Look yeah, that. I mean, like we we go we, and a, and then a Patriots. There's, two there's Patriots. at least two Patriots uh, fans. Oh, uh, I don't mind the Caps jerseys, but uh. I mean, I mean, it, it is it is their homeland. I know. It must be wear a jersey to the game tonight, and a lot of people might not have a hockey jersey. So you know, where what you got? But the North Star one's interesting. Yeah, that's a, a nice touch. <laughs> they haven't been around since these kids have been alive. <laughs> Long before. I mean, 1993. And we have a penalty coming up. High stick. And it's going to go against the dogs. Guy Dash in the box. Do believe it's the second time of the night. 13.04 left here in the third. 9 to 2, your score in favor of the dogs. That's Westfield, Tuscarora, 9. Dominion. Potomac Falls, two. So uh, to, he needs one more thing for the Gordie Howe, then? Well, I doubt he's going to get that fight. I know, but I, still. I would hope not. You know, I'm sure that carries over to the next season. Yeah, that's very strictly forbidden for uh fighting. Oh, God, Ash is a senior. So, uh, I mean, I mean, fighting is bad. At this level. At this level. Pro level, have at it. That's right, Guy Dash gets a chance to uh, talk to his fans. Gathering. 13 minutes even left here in the third. Seven goal differential here in the Provisional Championship. The best of the combined teams who are not allowed to play in the traditional playoffs. <laughs> Bouncing puck, Horner slapping at it, whiffs, felt the breeze up here. <laughs> Far side it goes for Declan Miller. Over on that far side, digging for it. Horner going after that as well. Round behind the net, Mueller forcing the puck to the side. Played in front, steered aside by Dolan. Near side it goes, Mueller. Over the far side, up and out. What a clear on that one to get that, that much effort on it. Martin, Declan Martin into the zone. Up and out, return to center. There's Horner. Pocket picked on his way in. Played off by Isles. It went off a of Booth skate. A number of white sweaters jumping in immediately after that. And Booth, I know that's going to be Horner who gets back to it. That, that's what they were scared of was Raymond Booth. Shot on. Save made by Osterberg. Far side it goes. Playing it up ahead. Dugan kicks it ahead. Over to Horner's stick. They're killing time here with 49 seconds left on the power play for the Titan Panthers. Far side. Scooped up by DeBry. DeBry into the zone, but it's off sides. And we'll get that whistle here with 11.43 left in the third. Shots right now are even right now. 27 apiece. Although we do feel like that number should be probably a little higher. Yeah, I mean, look, well, it would, it's hard to criticize those guys. It's all a matter of interpretation. Eh. We've been there. We've been criticized. There we go. We turn the favor. Break the cycle, Phil. Break the uh. cycle. Make the world a better place. One scorekeeper at a time. Near side it goes. Into the zone is Noah Lasker. Lasker along the near side boards. Pushed up and out for Cyrillic. Over the far side. Scooped up there by Colby Smith. Five seconds left on the power play. Guy Dash about to return to the ice. Finally, he's freed. Five aside hockey, but it's up and out of the zone. We're going to have an eye offsides right away. 11 minutes even. 9 2 dogs.
11 minutes left even in the period. Even period, even 11 minutes, shots are even. Miles will take that face off against Andrew Sabalski, who has five goals on the night. How about that? Far side, the long toss ahead for Booth. He's got Dugan beside him, two on one. Booth takes the shot, the rebound comes loose, taken away by the Panthers. Far side, now through center. Played off for DeBry. Quick shot, sails wide. Round behind the net, now to the near side it goes for Isles. Over to the far side for DeBry. Back behind the net, Dumas. Over now for Dugan. Dugan carries the mail now. Ahead, around Pepper, getting tripped up by Pepper. Sneezes a bit, far side. DeBry gets it back, up but not out. Booth keeps it in, Dugan gets it back. Defenseman diving, good effort there by Pepper to get that one away. Booth picks it up in his own blue line, 10 minutes left to go in the third. Round to the near side it goes for Miller. Miller ahead for Horner. Horner drops it back. Ahead for Guidash. Guidash to Miller. Ahead for Horner. No, it's going to be too far. Martin going to take it away. Martin on the far side. Enters the zone. Round behind the defense. He, uh, he had some space on that. Didn't take the shot. Kept onto it for too long. Round behind the net it goes. Over to the far side. Played right in front. Ellingswood takes the shot. Save made by Dolan. Far side. Booth with it. Finally carousing. He's got Horner ahead of him. He's going to chip it ahead to him. Nope, too far. Thanks to the, defense, the defenseman, it comes back right to Horner. Looking for the high toss. Glove down. Horner gets it back. How does that kid get that puck so often? Goodness gracious. Uh, just, just the right bounces for Jason Horner all evening. Back through now Booth. Booth looking for some room. Takes the shot just a bit too high and wide. Far side. Ellingswood going for it. Leventry tries to step into it. Couldn't make the connection. Far side, Ellingswood. Slapped away by Tanner Leventry. To the near side for Cyrillic. Cyrillic, zone entry. That was a little close, though they'll leave it go. Bit of a mix-up with the players. It's going to be chipped down low. Leventry going after it. Ellingswood chasing them down. Round behind the net to the near side. Sent up and out. Long toss on. We're going to get the icing. Oh, we will. 8.30 left here in the third, 9-2 to dogs hey. here in the Provisional Championship. Guess who just tuned in? Yorktown Hockey. Oh, look at that. Well, hello, Yorktown. Good to see you. Shame we won't see you in a couple weeks. We were actually talking about that earlier. It's, uh, it is quite the shame. 8.30 left here in the third, 9-2 to two your score in this Provisional Championship, the best of the combined teams, Westfield and Tuscarora against Dominion uh, and Potomac Falls. While uh, control has been back and forth, the goal scoring has been all one-sided. As Dolan makes yet another save. Kid standing on his head. 27 saves so far on the evening. Another eight minutes left to go. You know, between Potomac Falls, Dominion, and now Chantilly and Riverside, this place is packed. Oh yeah, they're surround. I mean, they're, they're standing on benches in the corner. Just packed. Back to the near side it goes for Mueller. Mueller pushes it ahead. Back through it goes over the far side. Sabalski chips it off the glass. Ahead for Guidash. Back through it goes. Trying to send that one through Anthony Finlayson. Back through Isles, in behind the defense, look, shot, he scores! That one got Dolan, glove side high. Excellent effort there by Tyler Isles, who has put on quite the show. He's second. been involved, I think, on every goal so far. At least his second goal. He had the last two, I think, actually. And he is the leading goal scorer for the Dominion Potomac team. With 15 on the season and two, at least two tonight, so he's on 17. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Third, so he's at all three. One-man show on that. 
Quick uh, shot goes off a stick, high and wide. Now I completely cannot see that near side corner. I really can't either. Murrell sends it over to the far side boards. Back to the near side where I got nothing. Up and out. Dugan will send it. The bride chasing after it now. Just under seven to play here in the third of this championship game for the provisional teams. Getting to that one, C.J. Katz ahead for DeBry, and it's back the other way now. Quick shot, sneaky one coming there from Tyler Lasher. Near side it goes, Booth sends it ahead, Dugan with it now, he gets tied up. Lasher gets onside, Dugan plays it ahead for Booth. Booth in behind the defense, look, shot, save made by Osterberg. Fuck. The, there you go. Yeah, we, we lost two seconds on that one. I don't think that's going to be a, a major issue here. 6.23 left here in the third. Nine, three-year score. And it is standing room only in here, folks. Yeah, it's getting crowded. And I, well, I mean, you're waiting for the game. So, yeah. It's supposed I mean, to be at gotta, eight. That's five minutes from now. I mean. Yeah, no, I totally get why. It's just uh, it's kind of cool to see. It is the happening place in Nashburn right now. Uh, looks like Osterberg, something wrong with the equipment. He's over on the bench. There is no one to step in, so they're going to try and make that repair now. I think the repair is on him. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Ooh. They're doing something to his face. Oh, poor kid. So uh, maybe uh, a cut or... I mean, you catch that puck just right. It, I mean, it's it's not foolproof that equipment. Yeah, I mean, the last time I was talking about what, which hockey players I looking at. Um, goaltender. Bi uh, not Bennington. Say that that helps. That narrows it down. Um, Bishop. Lost, he lost a pair of his front teeth he, and he was wearing his bucket. Just hit him right in the bucket. And uh, <laughs> you see him just pulling out his teeth, giving it to the trainer. He's that's, like, all right, I'm back in. <laughs> that's hockey players for you. You gotta love them. Back the other way it goes for Cyrillic. Off the skate of Sobalski. But Pepper's there to pick it up. Back to Cyrillic here and the near side center red. Murphy dumped to the far side. Carl Huber chases it down off the glass, up and out of the zone. Off the skates of Guydash. Guydash pushing it ahead. A little bit of stick work on that one. Not going to get the call. 5.54 left here in the third. 9-3, dogs. Near side, Gonzalez along with Mueller. Mueller will come out the victor on that one here on the near side boards. Shuffles this around on the near side. So Andrew Sobalski stepping in there. Cyrillic comes out with that one. Centers for Ellingwood. And they're going to have an offsides call on that one. 5.36. Clock ticking away. Six goal difference here in the provisional championship. Through it comes now to the near side. No idea what's going on thanks to the standing room. Far side it goes, kept in there by Noel Lasker. Lasker a second opportunity on that one. Holds it in. A little bit of help from Dennis Bykoff. Over the far side, Lasker one more time. To Bykoff, it's intercepted there by Horner. Horner's off to the races. Puck taken away at the last second. What a great defensive play made by Colby Smith. Surgical precision on that one. Just under five minutes left to go. Up and out of the zone. Tanner Leventry will scoop it up there. Push through. Lasker with it. He's got Ross right there with him. Travis Ross, who I believe had an assist on the last goal. Cleared up and out of the zone. Ice Dogs uh, taking the foot off the gas just a little bit. You got to watch when that happens. They are simply trying to keep it out of their zone. I told you, look at around, you know, the towards the end of the period and see how both teams are feeling. Save made by Dolan. He's going to hang on to that one in the glove as well. I mean, at this point, teams, uh, three minute extras in each period, that's six minutes. It's almost like another whole period for them. In the end. 
But no, no comment. Well, I got another more to add to that. Your uh, your twenty percent was uh, was adequate to me. Back through it goes for Dugan. Dugan trying to backhand this one through, trying to find Guy Dash. No connection made. Pile up on the near side. Finally, will come loose. It comes to Mueller at his own blue line. Zabalski dumps it in. Debray will take it. Four minutes left to go. Titan Panthers work the breakout. They lose it at center ice. In for Dolan, who tries to launch that one. He, he got quite a bit on that, actually. Gets up and out of the zone and played through now. Mueller to the near side for Booth. Booth quarterbacking the play now. Dipsy doodles his way through two defenders. Now the quick shot, save made, the rebound comes loose. Far side, Sabalski chasing it down. Guydash will be the one who puts it down low. Dugan. Dugan knocked down behind the play. He's trying to draw a call. You don't think he's going to get it. No, he, well, I mean, someone did. And we'll have into the box another white sweater. And that's Tyra, Tyler Isles. Interference to call, and if there was someone you don't want in the box, it's the guy who scored all three goals for your team. Yeah. That one, uh, that hurts. Yeah, with 314 left. 9-3, to three, your score in favor of the Dogs. Murrell completely lost his footing on that one, and off to the races is Ellingwood. Ellingwood in behind the fence, takes a shot. Save made by Dolan. Kid's been there all night, all night. Under three minutes to go, minute 42 on the man advantage. Round behind it goes for Colby Smith to Ellingwood. He puts the junior A dump in the far side corner. Murrell will get to it. Sabalski went off the referee on that one actually. Mueller ahead for Miller. No, I'm sorry, that was Jung. Jung to Mueller. Mueller round behind. Surveys his options back to Horner. Horner tees it up. Save made on the stick. Good save there. 109 left here in the man advantage. Cleared up and out of the zone. Back in their own zone. 210 left to play. 56 seconds remain in the man advantage for the dogs. Up ahead it goes. Through for Booth. Booth, backhand effort, will sail wide. Far side, Booth picks up his own rebound. Back, he draws it back out of the zone. He's looking to kill time on this game. Less than two minutes to play. Differential of six. Booth, just looking to protect. Hands it back to Mueller. Minute 34 left. Mueller into the zone, takes the shot, save made Osterberg, he's going to cover that one up. 126 left here in the third, 13 seconds on the power play. There are so many people. Yeah. So, so many people. Yeah, they're, they're kind of everywhere. My, my bubble is officially... Oh, the, the bubble's gone. The, it's gone. The, the, bubbles, the bubble's gone. Bubbles. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. bubbles. Back through Dugan, off the faceoff win. Sabalski takes that shot, looking for a double hat trick at this point. Back through goes now to the near side. Booth. Speaking of which, I have no idea where my hat went. Huh. Did you, you threw it in the car. Somewhere. Minute five left here in the third. Of this, the provisional championship, the best of the combined teams. There were seven this year. These are the top two. Potomac Falls and Dominion, Westfield and Tuscarora. Just 50 seconds remain along the near side. Dugan ahead for Sabalski. Back out through center it goes. Tanner Leventry will drop it back. Picked up by Sabalski. Plays it off to Leventry. Leventry to the near side for Sabalski. 32 seconds. 9 to 3 your score in favor of Westfield and Tuscarora. Lasher, no, no. 
That is David Anspaugh who will push it ahead. Back through it goes. Long toss deep into Westfield territory. Just 15 seconds remain. Andrew Sobalski puts the bouncing puck to the far side for Anspaugh. Players starting to realize just five seconds remain. Two, one. They say that every dog has his day. This is the one for Westfield and Tuscarora, your provisional champions in the NVSHL. Nine to three, a controlling victory here. They stepped up early and they made it count. Never let it, never let the other team crawl back into it and they totally could have. I tell you, if you told me this is how it would end at the beginning of the season, I don't know that I would have believed you. Oh no, I mean they were, they were at one point they were two, two and five, two and four, sorry, two and four. And uh, they came back and they won their last three of four to be five and five for the season and you know you could see the chemistry starting to build at that point and you know if they have to combine again next year hopefully it's the same two teams because they they have they got a lot of stuff going on here a significant turnaround i think that kettle run liberty game a, a blowout uh in in oh where was that what's what's that called that terrible rink that's in um, Haymarket. Haymarket, yeah, that that loss uh, followed by a, a dominating victory over Liberty at the uh, the secondary rink in Reston. That was that was the change. That was the turn. And now we got ourselves a ship. Where's, where's the trophy? They brought it out. We they, got the presentation. It's they, down they, here they, at the red line. They, they've got some uh, some flair down there too. Looks like. Uh oh, I, I, I'm running out of space here, boys. On the ice is Gary Pulia, NBSHL commissioner, and Jess Thompson representing Washington Capitals. We'll be here presenting the championship trophies. Oh, where's Ovechkin? Come on. There has to be a player that lives around here somewhere. Or they still, well, they were just in Winnipeg yesterday, so. Look at the medals. And there you have it. Provisional champions. I'm sure they'll divvy those out in the locker rooms. Great game by both teams. The Dominican Falls and the West End. I want to thank everybody for coming to tonight's game. Our brother Doug has a school hockey championship game will follow his end up. In that game, the Chantilly Chargers will take on the Riverside Rams. Are, are they not? I think they're going to move for for a team photo with the trophy. I think that's the the move right now. Have some discussions between competitors. They're not going to shake. Oh. Some some of the guys as they go by, they're saying yeah, bye. I mean, and all these players, they played up with in the little leagues and the Pee Wees. They don't call them Pee Wees anymore, but. You know, for Ashburn or Reston. So a lot of these kids have played with each other for years. So to see that sportsmanship is great. And, and hockey is a family. It, it really is a family affair. And, uh, the, you know, it, as much as it hurts, I'm, I'm sure these boys are all very happy for one another. 
Westfield Ice Dogs, Tuscarora Huskies, 2019-20 provisional champions of the NVSHL. Pretty special. And now they gotta clean up the yard sale. But they got some hardware to add to it, not too shabby. And you want to talk about a great way to end this game for, for the seniors, for Raymond Booth, Matt Guidash, Tanner Leventry. Can't forget Isla Magaki. Oh, there's only so many teams that get to end their season want to win. We're one of them. How about that? Hey, John, what are you going to do now that right. they won the championship game? I'm going to try and call another one. Actually, I want a photo with that trophy. That's, that's what I really want. We might have to wait till we hit school. <laughs> we'll see. Well, it's been a heck of a season. It's been a great ride here on the Cross Ice Feed. Thank you so much for tuning in, for following along, for dealing with all our antics and technical difficulties. We appreciate you, the fans, you, the viewers, someone to indulge us in our in our crazy hobby. Phil, any final thoughts? No, I mean, it was a, a great end of the season. This was an exciting game. Um, I'm, I'm happy for the dogs. I wonder if they're gonna have to have joint custody of the trophy. You know, I'm sure they're gonna spend, have to figure something spend, out. Spend a week at this place, spend a week there. I mean, but uh, now it'd be interesting watching the transition of the audience to uh, <laughs> one crowd out, another crowd in. Yes. So that that wraps up for me. Well, that's gonna end it for the both of us. Thank you so much for tuning in here on the Cross Ice Feed. We will have NVSHL hockey here again next season. Make sure you stick around uh, and follow us at CIF underscore live for any other hockey we have in the area. We'll go through that Twitter, through Periscope, just like this one. Thank you so much, everybody. Good night.